Hi friends! Welcome back to Miss Lori's Stories. Today I'm going to read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. And today I have a very special guest, my twin Tracy! Hi friends! Hi Tracy! Thank, Thank you so much for having me, Miss Lori. I feel honored to be here. Oh, we're so happy that you're here with us. Woo! <laughs> Alright, my friends, let's just look at the grouchy ladybug's face. Does that ladybug look happy? No, it's a grouchy ladybug. Grouchy means grumpy, mad. There's so many reasons you might want to, you might be feeling grouchy or mad. Can I see your grouchy, mad faces? Can you look even angrier? Awesome. Whoa, those very fierce grouchy ladybugs. Scared me a little. <laughs> And before we start, I'm going to show you ladybug pose with the help of my twin, Tracy. Alright, so friends, let's all make some room. And we'll start by putting our knees on the floor. So just your knees. And for this, you want to put your bottom down. So Tracy will sit down on their feet. Oh, this is awesome. Because I don't have to keep moving. You get both views at once. <laughs> And now, Tracy, we're going to gently put your head down on the ground. Thanks. And now you want to raise your butter, your, not your butterfly, your ladybug wings up. Awesome. And you don't want to put your hands together because then you'll look like our bunny in bunny pose. But if you keep them apart, you're a ladybug. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you can you. come out of your ladybug. And I'll show the friends this way, too. So you want to keep your bottom down and raise your ladybug wings. Nice. And now I'm going to teach you ladybug in sign language. So friends and Tracy, can you show me number three in sign language? That's right. You want to make sure you have your two pointers up and your thumb. And can you wave your two point, your pointer and your other finger like up and down? Nice, Tracy and friends. Now put your thumb to your nose and wave your fingers up and down. And that's bug. Nice. And we have a ladybug. So to say lady, put out your hand like a high five, like you're about to high five the twins. <laughs> and you're going to put it, your thumb to your chin. And that's lady. So now let's put those two signs together. Lady, bug. Awesome. And now we're definitely ready to read. Thanks, Tracy, for your help. You're so welcome. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Hey, Miss Lori. Yes, Tracy. What's an aphid? That's a great question. My friends always ask me, Miss Lori, what's an aphid? So let's look at the picture. My friends, do you see all those little bugs on the leaf? Those are aphids. And aphids are little bugs that eat leaves. <laughs> and the ladybugs eat the aphids off the leaves. It's a very nice relationship they have with each other, the leaves and ladybugs. <laughs> Speaking of bugs. <laughs> All right, so now Tracy's going to be the grouchy ladybug, and I'm going to be the sweet, friendly, nice ladybug. <laughs> Here, come next to me. Now, here's the picture. Good morning. Go away. I want those aphids. We can share them. No, they're mine. All mine. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friend, friendly ladybug sweetly, and it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself and flew away. <laughs> At 
six o'clock and met a yellow jacket. <laughs> hey, you. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. <laughs> oh, man, this is the best friend. We're in for a real treat today. <laughs> All right, so my friends, we're going to become bumblebees. I know, it's not exactly the same as a yellow jacket, but they look a lot alike. They're yellow, they have black stripes. So we can sit in butterfly, or we can sit in crisscross applesauce. Either one is perfect. And we're going to reach way up high, grab your bumblebee and yellow jacket wings. And we can go around in a circle. You can go the other way in a circle. You can go up and down. Nice. And now, what sound do bumblebees make? Zzzz. That's right. So as we move our wings in a circle or up and down, we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and let out all those buzzing sounds like bees for the yellow jacket. So deep breath in. <laughs> Let's do that one more time together. I heard so many bumblebees. Ready? There's the little yellow jacket. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At Eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you! Wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you! Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. It's my friends, we're going to come into bird pose for the sparrow in the story. So, we're going to stand up, and we're going to come into what I like to call our real chair pose. Let me just raise the camera a little. So we're gonna bend our knees as if we're sitting down in a chair. We stay that way and we show my friends. See, so I'm sitting down. But remember my bottom's not on the floor. And let's stretch out our bird wings. Here, I'll come over. And let's fly. Thanks, can I hear your bird noises? <gasps> tweet, 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 tweet. Thanks, there's so many different types of birds. That was awesome. Then we could fly down. We can fly up. We can fly in a circle. That was awesome! Don't we look like blackbirds? Blackbirds. Awesome. Nice friends. And that's right, sparrow's a type of bird. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you! Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. <laughs> My friends always love skunks. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. 
Hey, you. Want to fight? If you insist, said the boa constrictor, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. So my friends, let's look at the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor is a type of snake. We're gonna come into our snake poses together. So my friends and Tracy, we're gonna lay, we're gonna put our bellies on the floor. So we're gonna lay down. Let me lower the camera again. Going down. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're gonna put our bellies on the floor. And we're gonna lay down flat. Thanks. And you don't want your hands all the way out in front of you. You kind of want to bend your elbows a little bit. So your, your elbows are by your side and your hands are pushing into the floor. Awesome. And we're going to come into a baby cobra pose, like a baby snake. So we're just going to come up just a little bit, press into the ground. And what sound do snakes make? So let's do that and take a deep breath in first. Nice, but let's grow into King Cobra. So now, push your hands in the floor and straighten your arms. Nice, Tracy and friends. Let's take a deep breath in here. One more time. And now let's play a little game. So we like to go into Baby Cobra, King Cobra. Baby, King, King. <laughs> baby, King, Baby, Baby. Got me. Got you. <laughs> Let's go really fast. Ready? King, baby. King, baby, baby. Oh, you <laughs> got me. Baby. Nice. That was so fun. <laughs> and my friends, we can also say snake in sign language. You put out your two pointer fingers and bend them and then put them straight and hiss. Nice. And that's snake in sign language. My friends, let's get back to the story. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. It's my friends. Hyenas, ooh, those are nice African animals. And they are known for their laugh, a very loud, funny laugh. So we're going to come into, it's usually a coyote or wolf pose, but I'm also going to pretend it's a hyena pose today. And then we're going to do some laughing breaths together. So my friends, let's just raise that a little. We're going to do something just like that. I'm just going to show my friends on the side. <clears throat> we're going to put our knees on the floor, but no, you're good, Chitty. Then you're going to sit down on your feet. Thanks. And now I'm just going to turn my body so I can see you. And we can put our hyena paws right in front of us. Remember, try to keep your bottom down. So I'll show you if your bottom comes up. Put it back down. Yes. And we're going to take a deep breath in, and we're going to let out a nice, funny, loud laugh for the hyena. So deep breath in. <laughs> that was so funny. Let's do that one more time for the hyena. Ready? <laughs> That was so great. Whoa. Thank you. I thought a real pack of hyenas were here with me right now. <laughs> and let's keep reading. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. My friends, I'm going to teach you gorilla pose today. You may have learned monkey pose from another video, but gorilla is a little different. So, we're going to stand up on our big gorilla feet. Just so you can see my, our gorilla heads. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so you want to have a nice, like, wide stance. So your feet aren't totally together. Good. And our gorilla hands are going to just like swing side to side to start. Nice. And just like the story, our gorilla is going to beat on our chest. So we're going to take a deep breath in first. 
Stand up tall and bow! Oh! <laughs> awesome, girl. Let's do that one more time. My friends always love gorillas. Me too. <laughs> Tracy loves monkeys and gorillas too. Ready? So Primates. swings. Primates. Ooh, fun new word. Alright, let's swing our big gorilla arms back and forth. Deep breath in. Stand up. Ah! <laughs> awesome, gorillas. You look great. You're doing a great job too, Trace. <laughs> Thank you. Feel so special being here. <laughs> That's the gorilla. So big. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you. Want to fight? <sighs> if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. Look at that giant rhinoceros. Isn't that funny? The ladybug keeps telling all these big animals, you're not big enough. Do you think that's true? Are these animals really not big enough? Or is the ladybug not trying to fight these big animals? Something to think about. I mean, friends, I'm going to teach you rhinoceros or rhino in sign language. So, Tracy and friends, join me. We're going to put out your pinky finger and your thumb. And you're gonna put your thumb towards your nose and bring out your rhino horn. Nice, back and forth, rhino. Great. It's like we made a rhino horn for the rhino. Look at that big horn. Ooh, my favorite animal. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. My friends, did you know elephants are the largest land mammal? Largest mammal that walk on land. I love elephants. We're going to learn elephant pose together. All right, so my friends, we're going to stand up nice and tall. And kind of like gorilla, we're going to make a nice wide stand, so spread your legs a little. And elephants have long trunks, so put your hands together, bring your trunks up, and now let's swing them side to side. Nice. And we're going to raise our trunks, take a deep breath, and let out a really loud elephant sound. I need help. My elephant sounds always could use some help. So, one, two, three. trunk in front of you, and then raise your trunk high. <gasps> Great elephant. You look awesome. And my, friend, and my friends, I can teach you elephant in sign language also. So you're going to take your hand, kind of like letter C, like when we make a do cat, but we want to do elephant. We're going to put it to our nose, and make your long trunk up. Nice. Good job, Tracy. Good Thank job, you. friends. Elephant. Do you think there's any bigger animals after this elephant? I don't know. I don't know. I did say elephants were one of the largest mammals on land. So let's see what happens next. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you. You want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough. Said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. My friends, whales are some of the biggest mammals in the water, and they come in all different sizes. I'm not sure which whale this is supposed to be. It could be a humpback whale or a blue whale. Those are really big whales. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you. You want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. My friends, I always ask, why didn't the whale flipper answer the ladybug? Do flippers talk? <laughs> no. Silly ladybug. <laughs> At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you. Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And I, my friends, can the whale's fin talk? Can it answer the grouchy ladybug? No. <laughs> At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, 
Hey, you. Want to fight? And the whales. Oh, before I read reading, I want to do a whale pose for this giant, enormous whale. So my friends. Um, here, I'll just do it. So there's, you want to try it? Okay. Okay, here, let me show them, then I'll help you do it. After. <laughs> All right, so for whale pose, you definitely want to lay on the floor. You're going to put your belly down on the floor. And... You want to keep your legs together, so put them together. And I keep my heels together and my toes apart. So it kind of looks like a whale tail. And I can show you on the other side too. See? Toes together, feet apart. Whale tail. <laughs> toes together, uh, heels together, toes apart. Whale tail. And we're gonna use our upper body and arms to be our whale head. So we're gonna spread up. Whales are big, so spread out your arms wide. And you want to try to lift everything but your belly. Thanks, Tracy, you're doing it. Thanks. I was going to help Tracy come in. Oh, I'm a professional whale. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. My friends are really good at whale pose. I'm always really impressed when we do it at school together. I guess they'll have to teach me a thing or two. <laughs> they really can. And the whales tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. Whoa! That it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. Oh, I'm missing. You're welcome. You're, You're welcome, welcome. <laughs> answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. Oh, good night, grouchy ladybug. See you later. Good night. Don't wake me. <laughs> the fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. And that's the end of the grouchy ladybug. That's the end of Miss Lori's stories. And thanks so much to our very special guest, my twin, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> You're the best grouchy ladybug I ever had. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for having me, friends. Bye, friends. I love you so much. I'll see you soon for another story. Be well. <laughs> Bye.